Welcome back everyone, I'm Eric from Mary Candy and here today we are back on PTCO trying out a very unusual Centiscorch VMAX deck. So recently uh, Pedro Torres took down an online event with this same deck. Uh, the only change I have elected to make is he had a fourth Centiscorch VMAX, I changed that to a third Volcanion. Just to be honest guys, I don't even own Centiscorch VMAX on PTCGO, I had to borrow these to make this video. So I was like, you know what, I can only get three for this video, that's fine. You guys can easily make that change if you want to go back to the the fourth. But uh, other than that, this is Pedro's list. Uh, definitely very unusual. Wanted to try it out, see how it would do, and see maybe if this is going to be the best way to play Sense of Scorch going forward. We'll have to see. But before we get any deeper in this video, if you guys can, smack that like button. It genuinely really does help get this video seen by more people on YouTube. And if you need any cards to complete this deck or any others, if you are missing Sense of Scorch VMAXs like myself, you guys can check out our friends at ptcgostore.com. Use that coupon code RAREcandy at checkout to save yourself some money. And also our patrons at patreon.com slash RAREcandyTCG have an even bigger discount code of their own. But hopping back into the actual deck, if you need a refresher on our homie Sense of Scorch over here, pretty strong card we got back in Darkness of Blaze that has seen decent success, you know, all the way up until now, but it has the GMAX Centiferno attack. 40 plus 40 more for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. And if you did any damage with this attack, attach a fire from discard to this Pokemon. So especially if your opponent has kind of a slow start and this guy goes unchecked, it's very easy to sort of snowball energy out of control to a point where your opponent can't really easily answer this thing and you can just mow over whatever they have in play. So by and large, this deck is gonna be very familiar to other Scorch lists, but of course, the big inclusion for this particular list that Pedro has is the 2-2 Silvalli GX line. So Silvalli GX is a card that initially had actually a lot of hype. A lot of people thought it was going to be like the next Zorark GX, which they were definitely not right about that. But <laughs> Disc Reload is still a very solid ability. Draw until you have five cards in your hand. One of the big downsides to Welder Base decks is that, especially in the late game, if your opponent goes like Reset Stamp Knockout and you don't have a Welder ready to go for your next attacker, sometimes your late game can you know, really suffer as a result. So Disc Reload, really good in late game to make your hand stamp proof and Marnie proof. Uh, Brave Buddies, also not a horrible attack for two colorless. You do 50 plus 70 if you play a supporter card. But of course, Disc Reload is really the main reason that this card is going to be in the deck. But even outside of this, I mean, a lot of Sense Scorch lists play, I think as an average count, two Dedenne and one Crobat. But Pedro has the two two. 2 2 Savalier line and 3 Dedenne and 1 Crobat. So, no shortage of draw options in this deck. Now, other than that, a lot of the stuff is pretty conventional. We do have the one Malawan Lana just for some healing uh, in here. And we do have one random copy of Heat Fire Energy. I'm not sure if there's a specific reason for the one count, but maybe just Pedro had like an extra card left in his list and was like, you know what? We're going to make it a Heat Fire. What could go wrong with that? Not sure, but we get plus 20 HP on our Sense Scorch, which isn't too bad either. But yeah, that is going to be Pager's list. We're going to be trying out. Like I said, the only change I did made was I changed one Sense of Scorch to a Volcanion. But other than that, very faithful to what he ended up playing. But whenever you guys get to the end of this video too, feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Do you think this is going to be the ideal way to play Sense of Scorch going forward? Or do you prefer one of the more traditional variants? Sound off down below in the comment section. I want to know what you guys are thinking about that as well. But let's hop into some games and see how this version of the deck is going to fare. All right, so Chrome has a Charizard deck box. I don't know how much that tells us what we're playing. Playing against, but they have the Dalga coin, so it could even be ADP. Have no idea, we'll have to see. So we lose the flip. Let's see what they're gonna choose. That might give us a better idea. If they're playing fire, then they're probably gonna wanna go second. But going first, okay, so this probably is not gonna be a fire deck. This hand is actually pretty workable. It's gonna be unfortunate. We're gonna have to dead A change away a sense of scorch, of course, but um, beyond that, I mean, we have Giant Hearth. Fire energy, kind of good stuff to go here. Um, okay, there's gonna be an air balloon on the active. There's gonna be a quick ball. So I'm assuming this is gonna be ADP. Okay, playing Turbo Patch. It's a card I've not really seen much in ADP in a while now, so very interesting. There's gonna be a Crobat. Again, they're probably just searching for that manual attachment turn one. They're gonna be very reliant on that. So Viridian is also a pretty good card I can imagine for that deck. But they're going to toss away a Cherish Ball, so that's good. That's not a Metal Energy hitting this card. There's going to be a Water Energy. Uh, luckily, we do have a Counter Stadium to get rid of the Viridian, so that definitely feels nice at the very least. 
Hopefully they whiff an energy off of the Intrepid Sword too. Okay, looks like they did, so that's kind of what I like to see. Um, so right out the gate, we'll do this. There is a world where I almost kind of want to go for Heatran, as weird as that is. Um, but let's see what we have in deck before we commit to anything just yet. Because if we could take a very quick knockout here, I would almost kind of prefer that. Yeah, we still have two Volk Index, so three communications. There's a world where we could still make that happen. But being able to just take a KO immediately on Zacian definitely doesn't feel bad. I don't know if it's going to happen like that, but uh, I'm going to give us the option at the very least here. And we're just going to Debbie change. Okay, so all we need is going to be... Yeah, all we need is a switching card. And we're going to be in business. So we'll probably just toss the giant hearth, I think, here. Or even the fire energy doesn't seem bad to me either. Um, yeah, sure, let's go for the fire energy. And just in case they have the counter stadium again. And we do have all four switch and air balloon, so good odds of hitting what we need here for sure. Go for the welder and we do get switch and our hand looks pretty good for next room but there's so there's like a there's a world where a part of me wants to just like just evolve into sense of scorch next turn but but if we welder again we can actually knock out adp so yeah, i think we're actually just going to do this we have Quick Ball, we have Giant Hearth, so... Yeah, this actually, I think, goes pretty good. So with that being said, we're just going to go for the Steaming Stomp here. Take a KO, turn one on ADP. Or against the ADP deck, I should say. There's Malolana, Volk. Nothing too particularly good. Just hope we, hopefully we don't get Reset Stamp, because right now we do have the means, probably, of knocking out this ADP. We just have to hit Energy off of Welder. Okay, there's gonna be a turbo patch from our opponent. Definitely don't mind seeing tails on turbo patch, so they're two down, I believe. Yeah, two down for the moment. And they're they are gonna pitch the Marnie way. I'm happy about that. I kind of like the, the shape our hand is in. Now, if we whiff the KO this turn, them having the vitality band is actually pretty relevant here. Um, there's the alter creation, okay. Okay, and Elder Gossip. So let's see. We definitely want to thin our deck as much as possible. I think we're just going to toss away the um, probably the Volk. I think that's probably best. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave probably our hand as is, or maybe even maybe even try to go for Crobat and draw a few cards before we do anything else. Nah, I think I'm just going to leave things at that. Sure, that's fine. So Lob and Sylvalli kick things off. So we need a third energy. That's the big thing this turn. So we're going to Welder. Just do it all straight to the active. We want to be able to nuke this ADP. Oh, yikes. So we did not get there just yet, but we do still have a bench spot for Dedenning. So uh, we're going to want a Quick Ball. Get rid of Type Null. We don't need that anymore. I'll just grab Volk. So we just want to thin as much as possible here. Increase our odds of hitting this one energy. Just one energy. That's all we need, guys. Uh, we do have Fire Crystal. And we have all of these left in decks. We have what, four, five? Ow, ooh, man. 
those odds don't actually feel that great. But I mean, if we get this KO, it's just such a massive tempo shift in our favor, guys. So uh, yeah, we just have to go for the Dede change. Fingers crossed, just one energy, all we need, and we're gonna be good. And we do get there, so absolutely massive turn of events for us. So I'll just go for the Fire Crystal, just in case of like a Marnie or something like that. I wanna be able to have access to these with a giant hearth. Man. Okay, so from there we'll go for the Hot Burnt GX. I mean, I know it's, it's supposed to be a Centiscourge VMAX video, guys, but uh, I mean, sometimes Heatran just uh, gets you where you need to go. So Cherish Ball, Welder, and Centiscourge V, that's fine. So we can work with this. And we get the victory screen. Yeah, I, I don't blame him. We had an insane amount of pressure we were putting on that game. Kind of hard to come back from um, at that point, to be honest. Okay, so let's call the coin flip here. Do lose, but let's see what old uh, King Smudge over here is going to be choosing. Okay, so they're going to choose to go first, which is great for us. We are happy with that. Um, we see the Executor coin. I don't know if that's going to be any indication what we're playing against, but uh, I definitely would not hate it if you're playing against some sort of grass deck, that's for sure. And we were fortunate, fortunate enough to start with the Volcanian as well, so let's see what we're playing against. We see the Mind Report Me 2, and just a, just a pass, okay. If that's the case, oh, we prized Heatran. I was going to say, we actually do have a world where we can just win with Heatran, but that is unfortunately not what we have at our disposal. Yeah, from there, we're just going to go for the Dede change. Probably get rid of the fire energy, I would imagine. We'll go for our homie Senti over here. I kind of want to put the Sylvalli back in to get... I mean, I might even save this hand, to be honest. Like, I don't want to get rid of any of these cards. Like, I don't want to Quick Ball. I guess we can Quick Ball the Calm away, but then we can't as easily find our VMAX. But we're two switch down, so we might even need to dig a little hard next turn anyway, so. Um, yeah, we'll toss the comm, that's fine. And then from there we can get Titan all. And we did prize a Synth Scorch VMAX, that is important to know, but we do have two comms left. So between the the Synth Scorch, Titan all, or I'm sorry, between the Soul Ballet, uh, the, de the Dene, we should be able to find Synth Scorch, and we do still have Crobat if we do need that at some point as well, too. Just curious what they're playing, since they are playing the Mine Report Mewtwo, that means they're playing a Scoop Up Net Engine. Um, Blacephalon's like one of the main, th yep, as I was saying, Blacephalon, that's definitely one of the better options. Okay, so if it is Blacephalon, like, what's our, our course of action here? Like, so Valor GX isn't a bad attacker. It can knock out Blacephalons, but... Yeah, Blacephalon is just such a good deck against these, like, multi-prizers. So we'll have to see what's going to happen. There's going to be boss, okay. Just going to go for the Dedene. Either way, we still need a switch, so I, I really don't mind what our opponent just did. So let's just go ahead and I think we'll dead a change first here. I don't want to draw into a welder and then not be able to play it. So, okay, well that might be able to work out for us. So sure, we just I think we toss Cherish Ball more than likely. Yeah, it seems okay. Let me check our switching cards too. We only have one switch, but we do have our Air Balloon. So from there, I think we just probably do one here.
That way we can still manually attach one over here as well. Okay, so that actually worked out pretty decently for us. So we're just going to calm the Sense Scorch V back in deck. Well, I mean, there is a world where they have just like an explosive follow-up. I think we'll actually put the Dedenne back. I'm cool with that. We still have our uh, Sylvalia GX to draw us cards if we do need to. So we're just gonna retreat over here. Um, yeah, probably just attach here. I really don't think we need. Maybe even on. Now nah, we'll just do sense scorch. That'll be okay. And we'll go for the disc reload. And go for the G Max Centiferno. So feels pretty good. Um, our opponent really hasn't had a whole lot going on. But now Oracorio GX is active, so they could easily sort of like spiral on this next turn. You know, Blasphon's like like only one card away at any given point of just exploding. No pun intended, of course, being a fire deck. But uh, yeah, it looks like they're also going to ditch our ditch a switch to use our giant hearth. But if they have to welder to me too, I mean, I can't help but feel like, yeah, so that's, that's a pretty big whiff. That's definitely going to allow us a chance to maybe um to chase down a Blacephalon on this next turn and we just get the victory screen so yeah they, they did have a little bit of a rough start but uh hey we will happily take it all right so playing it's aether web they got a grass deck box so that seems pretty good for us i'm not gonna lie uh but no we do want to go second nevertheless uh but they have the dog of coins so it could really be anything oh my god what's saying it's so bad this is so bad. If this is grass, we can actually still lose. Okay, so if it's Decidueye, you know, maybe we're in an okay spot there because we do still have, we do have a uh, Volk. And actually the first attack here is pretty good on Tent Scorch. Yeah, so this is actually a little bit unfortunate. So I think we are going to, I think we're actually just gonna save this hand to be honest, guys. Uh, just go, go, gonna go for the radiating heat and kind of call it a day. So the one good thing about this matchup too is that um, Decidueye, while it's good at blocking damage, we can actually keep getting rid of its energy. So uh, that even might be our potential, you know, sort of strategy here. So there's gonna be Bird Keeper. Yeah, I'm kind of cool actually just to attempt to run them out of energy, but if they play big parasol, that would kind of mess up our whole plan here. There's gonna be a Pokemon communication. Probably just grab another Rowlet. Or if they don't have much going on, we could see a Jirachi or a Snorlax. We'll have to see. Yeah, so they're gonna go for the Snorlax. Scoop up net again. Okay, it seems good. So glad we did not put down the Volk because otherwise they would be able to get down some of this chip damage with these Zigzagoons, but they might just be going for another Decidueye. Or another Rowlet, I should say. Okay. And a Gorman dies. Gotta be nice to be able to draw cards. Okay. So we can work with this. So next question is do we Yeah, we'll just fall to the active. That's fine with me. So we'll do this. We will probably attach here, I would imagine. And from there, I think we're kind of cool to just chill with this hand. I mean, we could even just attach here as well, which I don't hate. But if they, well, no, they can't attack us because they don't have energy. So maybe this is just better. I don't know if it matters. So it's just a bit conflicted. Like, I don't know if it matters if we keep stacking our damage with this. Or energy, I should say. Yeah, we'll just put it here in case we do have to go for the multiple... Um, if we do have to abuse this first attack, we have some extra energy to discard. So 
So slow start for our deck for sure, but I mean, I feel like this should be a decent matchup for us overall. We, now we don't play Giratina in this list, so that, you know, it wasn't in the original list. So we don't have an out against something like, um, okay, there's gonna be a Theo and that feels bad. So we don't have an out against um, weakness card energy if they do play that. But if they're playing the Aromatic Grass, maybe they aren't even playing it. We'll have to see, hard to say. There's going to be Mew, not too worried about that, but that could be good for them. You know, they're probably thinking, you know, it's Fire Deck, could very well play Cramorant, so. There's going to be, I think, a third scoop up net. Okay. I could have sworn they'd play more than that. Okay, just two. So we need a switch for sure this turn. Uh, I'm going to save all of our Volcanians absolutely here. So we're just going to toss the reset stamp. We did prize a switch. We do have air balloon. See, I think we just power up the active here. Uh, just in case we get the VMAX, we can maybe take a knockout that way. So we do need energy to be able to pull that off. So we'll just go for... I mean, we actually probably will have to put down the Volks this turn. But I do want to take a knockout. We definitely need to start putting on some pressure. Uh, probably put Eldegoss back, to be honest, guys. I don't think we're going to need that. Or I think we will need that. I don't think the others are quite as important. So we need Scent Scorch VMAX and an attachment. Okay, so we did end up getting there. That's good. All right, so we'll just do this. Do we get down the type null or do we keep the bench spot open? Maybe to use Eldegoss or this Dedenny next turn? Yeah, I think we're gonna save that bench spot for the Dedenny. So let's go for the G-Max Scent Inferno, and we will probably leave this Scent Scorch unevolved as well, uh, just in case we do need to use its first attack. Switch, okay. Could definitely be a decent card here. There's gonna be Fion, all right. Um, ooh, yikes. I think, honestly, we might even try to give up the Dene, uh, as horrible as that is. As horrible as that is. Uh, I mean, if they're playing Fion as well, that also makes me think they might not be playing boss. Because I know even when I played Desigun, sometimes that would be a concession. I would make up would cut my bosses and just play a copy of Fion, because a lot of the times where you're attacking doesn't matter too much. Um, we'll just go with the Dedenne. That's fine. We have Switch in hand anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. There's going to be Capture Energy, okay? So I'm probably going to get some damage on the Volks. That's definitely going to be a big um, threat for them. So sure, we're just going to... Yeah, I think we're just going to switch over here, take the knockout. Like, I want to take as many cheap KOs as we possibly can. Uh, then just go for the... Oh, we don't have anything in discard there. So we'll try hard. We'll get rid of the quick ball here. And I'm going to keep this bench spot open, like, because I honestly might rather prefer just dead A changing for one turn than keeping the Sylvalli up and running. Um, so from there, I'm kind of cool with just going for the Sentaferno. Yeah, so that's fine. So again, we just want as many cheap prizes as possible. Then ideally just use Volcanion for like one or two Decidueye knockouts and call it a day. Now they do need energy. That's the next thing they're going to be looking for, but there's going to be a turf field, so... That, of course, is definitely a little bit annoying for us. There's going to be a Decidueye coming down. So if they go, like, Candy, Decidueye, Decidueye, oh my god, that would be pretty bad. Oh, 
Okay, so they do have the Zigzagoon, so that's definitely a pretty good, you know, turn of events for them over there. There's going to be Bird Keeper as well, so they might just be attempting to hide behind a Decidueye this turn, or maybe just leaving the Zigzagoon active, sacrificing that. I'm honestly fine with that if that is the case. All right, so we could, I actually might, like we could just chase down a Decidueye and take a knockout this turn, but I want to save Malo and Lana actually to deal with the, to help heal a little bit. And we could evolve, but I want to leave this guy unevolved in case we do have to use its first attack. Um, and yeah, I think we'll just do this. Yeah, I think I can live with that. There's going to be the G-Max Centiferno. Okay. There's going to be a Crobat. So our hand, I mean, we have plenty of cool stuff, but... There's going to be the Decidueye. We'll have to see if this is going to be... Okay, there's going to be the Obscune. So, I mean, I might even chase that down, to be totally honest. There's going to be a Scoop Up Net. Okay, but they're just going to pick up the Obstagoon yet again. And Research the Wave. But Obstagoon, I mean, could be good against Volk at some point. So I think this turn, I mean, I'm... I'm honestly fine just chilling with this, this hand. We're not really getting hit with much pressure. So I think I'm honestly fine just to boss, take out the Dartrix... G-Max, Centiferno. I really don't want to get rid of any of the cards that we have right now. There's Heatran, so not too good. So this is the turn where we need to start making some stuff happen. Okay, so probably just going to get Jirachi off the board. I think that, that probably makes the most sense. Um, there's going to be a Rosa. So let's see if they're going to get, I mean, they could go for like a reset stamp, something like that. That could be good. If they play big parasol, this would definitely be the turn to get that. But there's going to be a Fion, Candy, Dark Energy, all that's fine and dandy. I really want to get a switch. Okay, well, there's not exactly what I want to see here, but... Um, I don't even think we're going to need Mallow and Lana for Volks at this point. I think we can win just by having a couple of Volks. So I think we'll just toss Crobat and Heatran. I think those are probably good choices. And then from there, all we need is one boss to win, just by knocking out this guy. But they're probably going to evolve into it, though. Um, we need an attachment for turn, so I honestly might even dead a change this turn. Yeah, I think I actually might dead a change this turn. We're just gonna say sure. Gonna get rid of this hand. Um, okay. And we're going to go for the reset stamp as well. We saw they had rare candy, so I want to leave the option to maybe gust this guy up next turn. So we'll just do that. And from there, we're going to go for the high heat blast. Take out old Desi. And fire energy. That's actually perfect. So now we can just go attach, knock out, and that should be game. Unless they, I don't know, they have some crazy way of placing damage counters. I think we probably have this one wrapped up. Now, if they throw down a weakness card energy, that does suddenly make things a little bit awkward. Like if they go candy, Desi, weakness card energy. Well, I mean, we can actually still just knock out the bench. So either way, I think we've probably won this one, guys. I mean, if we get Marnied, 
then things could be annoying just because we're gonna lose boss and Eldegoss, but. Yeah, I think we were just able to get way too many easy prizes before our opponent got like up and running here. Yeah, there's the splitting arrow, but we have game. We have just the, the one fire energy to, to knock this guy out. So we'll hit him with well played. And we'll just go for the high heat blast, and that is gonna take the game against old Desi Goons. So good against a lot of the fire decks, but or I'm sorry, a lot of the like multi-prize decks, but fire decks specifically, you know, we have the Volks at our disposal. We got Sense Scorch V's first attack, so I think it's usually a pretty decent matchup for this deck. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap up our look here at this unique take on Sense Scorch. Definitely uh, something I was not expecting to not only pop up at an event, but also win the whole thing. So shout out to Pedro for his win with this deck. And also a quick shout out to Dakota Ritchie, who was the one who was nice enough to loan me the Sense Scorches for this video. So without him, might have been a little bit harder to put this thing together in the short term. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Sound off down below in the comment section. I want to know what you guys are thinking. Is this the way that you're going to play Sense Scorch going forward? Or do you prefer one of the more traditional variants of the deck that has seen success prior to this? Sound off down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. But if you did enjoy today's content, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And if you can, consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or pick up some merch from our online store at rarecandytcg.com. It would mean a lot. But as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.